The next 100 years, what I'm really excited about is artificial intelligence and how that is really going to not only accelerate the speed of our discoveries, but also make it easier for us to tailor precision medicine to the various health needs of the population. So in 100 years, I see it focusing on diseases that impact impoverished nations and disadvantaged peoples, whether that's in the United States or elsewhere in the world. I know that they're doing a really important work with Alzheimer's research and dementia research, which I know impacts so many people. I just know that our future's in good hands here at Scripps. And I just hope that we can basically solve the most of the issues where we have in the populational and disease context. And I hope that I'm going to be part of this too. In 2034, 2044, there's going to be many processes that haven't been even invented yet that are still in trial or just an idea in someone's head. With the tools that we have, moving into those next 100 years is going to be mind-blowing. I don't think anybody can really predict what 100 years from now is really going to look like.